in today's session we are going to see uh, an example on fuzzy logic uh, as we know uh, in various domestic devices uh, we are using fuzzy logic concept uh, for controlling those systems uh, so uh, like example uh, for example washing machine uh, ac remote control domestic showers etc uh, so here we are going to see uh, an example uh, of washing machine controller Uh, so let us see first what is the problem statement is we have to design a controller to determine the washing machine time of a domestic washing machine and uh, we have to assume that the input is uh, dirt and grease we can assume different inputs also but here we are going to assume dirt and grease uh, on the clothes and that is the input will be in with percentage how much uh, how much uh, degree of percentage the clothes are dirty or greasy are Uh, the time on the output uh, variable will be uh, wash time total how much time in minutes we need to wash those clothes so here for input we are going to use three descriptors for input variables uh, and uh, five descriptor for output variable we have to derive a set of rules for controller action and defuzzification uh, we have to design uh, the repetitive functions also for input and output variables uh, we have to find out uh, the washing time uh, as we know that if the clothes are less dirty and less uh, greasy the total wash time will be less whereas if uh, the degree of this uh, dirtiness or greasiness is uh, more the wash time will be more so likewise we have to work uh, with this uh, this particular this is the problem statement actually now uh, the, the re- when we design any any microcontroller system by using fuzzy logic so we are basically for have to follow this five steps step one is identify input and output variable uh, and decide descriptor for the same uh, step two is to define membership function for each of input and output variable uh, step three is we have to form a rule base step 4 is rule evaluation and step 5 is defuzzification so now let us see uh, what are the uh, what are, how, how we are actually proceeding with all these steps for the given problem statement actually as we know uh, that uh, when we define a fuzzy system so it is like a black box for us we are giving a crisp set values as an input and we are uh, we are getting the output that is also in the crisp set so uh, in between the crisp set values of uh, which are given in the form of input will be converted into a fuzzy value fuzzy set right and then the actual processing takes place in the fuzzy set only and then we have uh, again it is defuzzified to get the crisp set so uh, we'll see how uh, the step one uh, step one to step five will proceed here for the problem statement step 1 we had to identify input and output variable and decide the descriptor so input uh, as we, uh, as specified in the problem statement dirt and grease are the inputs in percentage and output is wash time in minutes so descriptor for input variable will be for dirt it is small dirt medium dirt and large dirt so small dirt will be in some range medium dirt will be in some in some range and large dirt also in some range grease is no grease medium grease and large grease so these are the three descriptors for grease now descriptor for output variable will be um will be very small small medium large and very large so uh, again these are in the range time range right so like 0 to 10 for very small likewise okay so we'll see in detail what are the descriptors value or what are the ranges are so step 2 is to find out the membership function for all the input and output variables here we are going to use tri- triangular membership function we can have other membership functions also here we are using triangular membership function so for uh, dirt uh, as we know we have uh, three descriptors over here so these three descriptors indicate that the values uh, are in ranges right so like 0 to 50 that will be the small dirt from 0 to 100 it can be medium dirt and 50 
to 100 it can be large dot so on x axis we have a degree percentage of uh, this uh, the the dns and on y axis we have this mu of x that is membership function of x which is nothing but the degree of belief right so that is from the value 0 to 1 okay so for small dot what is the mu is the, uh, as you can see here the small dot is ranging from 0 to 1 on x axis right and uh, it it is a uh, it is decreasing if you see it is a line right so we are going to use here line equation uh, that is x minus x1 divided by x1 minus x2 is equal to y minus y1 divided by y1 minus y2 so for this range 0 to 50 that is it is specified here in this 0 to 50 uh, if x is running between 0 to 50 then membership function for small dot will be equal to 50 minus x divided by 50 it is calculated by using the same formula which i have stated just now now for md that is for medium dot if you see one line is increasing from 0 to 1 on the y axis whereas another line is decreasing from 1 to 0 on the y axis values right so first we will calculate so there are actually two line equations over here so for the first one we'll take in between 0 to 50 range and another one will be from 50 to 100 so the first equation is x divided by 50 and the second equation is 100 minus x divided by 50 then for uh, mu ld that is membership function for large dirt will be in the range uh, x will be in the range 50 to 100 so the equation will be x minus 50 divided by 100 minus 50 that is 50 okay so this is about the uh, small uh, dot and uh, it's all descriptors now for grease it is again the same uh, for node uh, no grease medium grease and large grease the ranges are similar to the dot uh, variable uh, so zero that is for no dot it is zero to fifty for medium uh, for no grease it is zero to fifty for medium grease it is zero to hundred and for large grease it is fifty to hundred okay so we have this for this all these ranges the equations will be like this the membership function for no grease uh, is equal to fifty minus y divided by fifty uh, for membership function for medium grease will be y minus fifty and 100 minus y divided by 50 here y variable y is used for the uh, as a variable uh, notation for grease uh, so and membership function for large grease will be y minus 50 divided by 100 minus 50 that is 50 for the range 50 to 100 now let us see what is the membership function for wash time uh, as we know we have given uh, five descriptors here very small small medium large and very large the ranges are 0 to 10 for very small 0 to 25 for small 10 to 40 for medium 25 to 60 for large and 40 to 60 for very large so now let us see what are the membership function values for this or the formulas for this here z is considered as the uh, variable for wash time so now for 0 to 10 uh, for value of z the that is for very small the equation is 10 minus z so yeah so that is that is uh, that is we can say the same like line equation we have to use here now for the range 0 to 10 for mu s uh, we have z by 10 for uh, range 10 to 25 we have 25 minus z and 25 minus 10 um, divided by 25 minus 10 that is 15 for medium time it is z minus 10 divided by 25 minus 10 for the range 10 to 25 and for, for the range 25 to 40 it is 40 minus z divided by 40 minus 25 that is 50 now for uh, wash time large uh, it is equal to z minus 25 divided by 40 minus 25 for the range 25 to 40 and 60 minus z divided by 40, 60 minus 40 for the range 40 to 60 and for very large 
time it is z minus 40 divided by 60 minus 40 so that is the uh, time will be uh, uh, time will be in between 40 to 60 minutes now the step 3 is the map mapping of this uh, parameter that is input and output parameters uh, we have to build this with the domain knowledge as uh, specified in the problem statement if we have small dirt and small no grease then obviously the wash time will be very small if we have small dirt and medium grease then it is medium small dirt and large grease it is large so likewise we will um, have the have this mapping table over here now once we uh, design this mapping table uh, we'll see the evaluation of this so uh, we have to take some testing value, values over here for dirt and grease so if dirt is 66 percent and grease is 70 percent then what are the possible values so if you uh, see dirt 60 percent lies in this range if you see the parameters for 60 uh, dirt it is 66 is lying between this two two um, two membership function uh, that is because 60 lies between 50 to 100 66 lies, lies between 50 to 100 so mu of md of x x is 66 here it is equal to 100 minus x divided by 50 and mu ld of x equal to x minus that is 66 minus 50 divided by 50 so these two values we are going to uh, use for the calculation of this uh, dirt dirt parameter or dirt input so the first value with this 100 minus x divided by 50 is equal to 34 divided by 50 that is 0.68 and 66 that is x minus 50 divided by 50 is equal to 16 minus 50 that is 0 0.32 now grease will fall in again in the similar way we will see for the grease also uh, grease will so, uh, is equal to 70 so it will fall in between the range 50 to 100 again so it is also 100 minus y divided by 50 and y minus 50 divided by 50 so that is the value which we are going to use here so it will be 100 minus 70 divided by 50 that is 30 by 50 it's 0 0.6 and 70 that is um, that is the uh, y minus 50 divided by 50 which is equal to 20 by 50 so that is 0 0.4 now with by using these four parameters we have total four rules that is uh, either your clothes are medium dirt medium dirty and medium greasy or your clothes are medium dirty and large greasy or they can be large dirty and medium greasy or large dirt uh, dirty and uh, large greasy so these are the five four rules uh, so for this four rules what will be the defazification rule here we are going to use mamdani method so uh, mu md of 66 uh, and mu mg of uh, 70 so it is equal to what mu md of 66 is point 0.68 and mu mg of 70 is equal to 0.6 so when we use fuzzy and uh, fuzzy operator uh, fuzzy set with uh, and operator so at that time we are taking minimum value so it will be 0 0.6 now again medium dirty and large grease so this value will be medium dirty and large grease 0 0.68 and 0 0.4 so it will be 0 0.4 again large dirt and medium grease large dirt is 0 0.32 and medium dirt is 0 0.6 so it will be 0 0.32 and large dirt and large grease so this will be 0 0.32 and 0 0.4 so it is 0 0.32 now uh, these are the four rules which we get at a time you will get any of this rule right so we have to apply or operator and or operator on uh, fuzzy fuzzy set will give you the max value so that's why we have to take a max value out of this four so it is 0 0.6 now for means we are using this particular rule for further calculation that is the clothes will be medium dirt and medium greasy so for medium dirt and medium greasy what will be the mapping for the time medium dirt 
for medium dirt and medium grease medium grease and medium dirt it is time will be medium time so for medium time what we have to do here for medium time what is the uh, what is the equation right so for medium time the equation is like this medium time is this one and we have two equations here one is z minus 10 divided by 50 and second one is 40 minus z divided by 50 so let us see uh, what is the z minus 10 divided by 15 and 40 minus z divided by 15 so it is uh, and this time uh, we have we have this value here membership value is uh, with us that is 0. 0.6 we have calculated in the previous step so 0. 0.6 is equal to z minus 10 divided by 15 so this value z will be 19 here and from this equation 0. 0.6 equal to 40 minus z divided by 15 this is equal to z is equal to 31 okay now we have to take average of this so 19 plus 31 divided by 2 so it will be 25 minutes so uh, the total wash time for this medium dirty and medium greasy is 25 now 25 minutes now so this is all about this problem uh, we can uh, you can have any question if you have any question you can write it in the comment box or you can ask me further thank you